Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you my favorite nail polishes for the month of January and also December and November because I didn't film a monthly favorite video for this month. So let's get started! My first pick is the Silent Stars Go By by OPI. I think it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous color and it's a sand polish so you don't need to finish it off with a top coat and it really lasts for a long time. Um, I also have found a dupe for all my German viewers. I don't think that you can buy this brand in other countries than Germany, if I'm not mistaken. And it is Pretty by P2. As you can see on the footage, it looks identical, so I really recommend to get the P2 one if you have access to it. My next pick is called The Monkey Gets Funky by Catrice. And this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous brown with some glitter in it. So um, if, you, if you look closely, it's so special and I really, really like this one as well. Next up, I have the Valerian by Models Own. This is also such a great color for the colder season. It's such a rich, dark blue. I think this polish is meant to have a matte finish. So here's some footage where I didn't apply top coat and here's some footage with the top coat. I think it looks better with the top coat. Anyways, I think it's a gorgeous and great blue for this season. I really love how the combination of my next two favorites look like. The first one is, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think you pronounce it Dinge by Floss Gloss. It's a great, great nude. And the second one is Honeycomb by Urban Outfitters. Or um, I bought it at Urban Outfitters but the brand says W-I-P. I already mentioned in the haul video that Honeycomb is really a special glitter polish and I still love it. I think it's so unique and it's so beautiful and you can combine it with a lot of colors but preferably with neutral colors like browns and nudes, you know, stuff like that and it looks gorgeous. I also did a, um, a glitter gradient with those two colors I think. Maybe it wasn't this nude I used but um, I certainly have a gradient mani with this polish on my Instagram account if you're interested. Next up I have this taupe brown kind of color and it is the 96T by Manhattan. I like to top it off with this pro matte top coat from Manhattan and I have to say that this matte top coat is definitely not a perfect matte top coat. I'm still searching for a perfect one. I have two matte top coats and the problem with them are that this one doesn't dry really well so it dries but you can get how do you say that? You can get um, indentations kind of things in your nails even after after one day so that's really annoying. This one doesn't really dry perfectly so that's what I don't like about it. And the other matte top coat is gorgeous and beautiful. I have worn it one time and the matte effect of the nails was gone one day of wearing them. And yeah, that's annoying. My sister, who is currently in Japan, bought me a pro nail polish, which is a matte top coat, so I'm looking very forward to try this one out. The next polish is Vamsterdam by OPI. It is a mini OPI nail polish. I think this looks better on short nails because I prefer, like if you have one single color which is very dark. I really pre prefer it on sh shorter nails, but still I, I, I also love it on my nails and I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. The next polish is called Disillusion by Cold Nails. It's just so special. I really love it. It's, I don't know, I, I like this, this, this dark, this dark base with those, um, magenta kind of colored glitter pieces in it. I just I just love it. And I applied a coat of black. You can use any black I used, Nevermore by Cold Nails. 
and one coat of this. If you only apply this, it has also a great effect because it kind of applies like um, the black is kind of sheer and I think that's that's pretty too but I wanted to have it opaque so I applied a layer of black and one layer of this. So I really think that this isn't a polish you see every day and that's why it's definitely one of my favorites. Let's move on to the last polish I have for today. I didn't mention it before but all the polishes I mentioned I applied two coats to get the results you saw um, during this video. And this is the only one I applied three coats because it was too sheer for me so I applied three. And it is Angel Love by Luana Cosmetics and I have never heard of this brand before. I got it from a Swiss store and I never used it. A friend from Japan came to our home and I did her nails and um, we wanted to recreate the design which Ellen Dish did and it is a Marc Jacobs inspired daisy design. I have a picture on my Instagram if you're interested. And I showed her a lot of nudes and pinks and she picked this one and I was like oh do you really want this one and she was yes it's so pretty so we tried it and since then I really love it. Those were my nail polish picks for the month of January and also December and November. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm trying to do these regularly again. It was just very um, a hard time for me the, the past few months so I really didn't have time to, to film it but now I'm back and yeah. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!